What's up everyone, I'm Joe the Lawn Warrior, and today we are going to recap my 2021 lawn care journey. So let's get started. So my lawn care journey actually begins in fall of 2020. That's when I actually did a kill off at my house. I use vinegar as opposed to Roundup. My wife, she just doesn't really like Roundup. She doesn't like herbicides in her lawn. So I decided to try vinegar. So that's what I did. I tried to kill off most of my lawn with vinegar. And then we planted, uh, we overseeded with the GCI 12 Fescue brand of grass seed. And it actually it came out really great. The GCI 12 Fescue took it really filled in nicely in that fall overseed in 2020 so going into winter of 2021 it looked really great so coming into spring 2021 we had a really good uh, well established lawn for the most part going into the 2021 lawn care season so throughout today's video i will be looking down at times at my laptop like i said i put everything into excel so if i do look down i'm sorry but i'm trying to read off of exactly what i put down on excel so let's kick things off with my 2021 lawn care journey, it began around April 1st. That's when we threw down Flagship, which is a Yard Mastery brand of fertilizer. It is a 2406 fertilizer. And as you can see from the pictures, we saw a great initial green up. The soil temperature at the time was about 53 degrees. Um, this was all from the Greencast uh, online tool where you can get history of soil temperatures. So at that time, it was around 53 degrees. We threw down three pounds per 1,000, which is the recommended rate on the bag. That gave me about 0.72 pounds of N. Uh, again, we saw a great initial green up and I was happy with the beginning of spring 2021. So my second application of the year was around May 1st, so about 30 days after that first application around April 1st. Again, we threw down Flagship, which is a 2406 fertilizer. Again, we got down another about 0.72 pounds of N. And again, the recommended rate again on the bag is three pounds per 1,000. And again, the lawn was driving along. We saw a great green up again from April into May. Things were looking really great. So I was a ha happy, very happy with the beginning of the 2021 lawn care journey. So the next part is where I want to get better at next year. I want to log things better exactly when I'm throwing things down. I did throw down Melorganite at some point in early June. I'm just not exactly sure when. I had a bunch of Melorganites uh, left over from last year in my shed, and I really wanted to, get, I wanted to get rid of it. I wanted to get it out in the yard. It is a 640 fertilizer. There's no potassium in it. So what I did was is I threw it down. So I'm estimating here exactly how much Melorganite I put down. And obviously the cost is estimated as well just about on how many bags I think I threw down. So for, for this part, I'm not 100% sure. And like I said, next year I will get better at this. So for now, I'm saying that I put down about 0.6 pounds of N from the Melorganite in early June. In my next application of the year, I threw down the Freedom Fertilizer from Yard Mastery, which is a 1776 fertilizer. Obviously, Freedom Fertilizer, they were trying to market the 1776 theme of it. So I threw that down around June 13th of the, of the year. The, our soil temperatures at the time right here in South Jersey were 74 degrees. We had a high of 79 and a low of 64. I just saw the Freedom Fertilizer. They had a Yard Mastery. Obviously, they really marketed it that this year on their website and on social media and there was a lot of hype around that fertilizer so I really wanted to buy it and I really wanted to try it out and as you can see from my photos it really did come out really good I mean the, the lawn really did initially fill in really great there was a lot of great color you could see the stripes I was really happy with it and then after I threw down my freedom fertilizer a lot of things went downhill from there so after I threw down the Freedom Fertilizer, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was because of the type of fertilizer I threw down or if maybe I got some kind of fungus in the lawn. I'm really not 100% sure. So I honestly don't want to blame it completely on the Freedom Fertilizer. I don't want to blame it on fungus. I really don't know what to blame it on really um, because I don't use any fungicide in my lawn. So I don't know if it was because of the fertilizer and the way I had maybe applied it in the heat or just maybe over watering and fungus or something but everything just went really downhill after there so coming into after like I said I threw down that uh, freedom fertilizer in June 13th and then from there around July 1st I really started noticing a lot of stress in my lawn different areas of the lawn just were turning brown 
and just was getting really patchy. I, I honestly don't know exactly what it was. So what I did was is I wound up buying the Stress Blend by Yard Mastery. It's a 7020 fertilizer blend. It has 20 per, uh, that, that 20 percent potassium in it, which is which is supposed to be really good for uh, stress problems. So what I figured I would do is, is maybe thinking it was a stress problem because it was just so hot out. And again, when I threw down the stress blend, our soil temperatures were all the way up to 81 degrees. Our high right around that time was 84. Our low was at 70. So I threw down the stress blend at the time. And as you can see from the pictures, it, my lawn just looked really bad. I don't have a ton of pictures because I was just so upset. I had that nice lawn in the springtime and then it just, to be honest, it just went to shit. And uh, it just, it, re it was really disappointing. And so again, I threw down the stress blend. It helped maybe a little bit, but it really didn't help a ton. So from there to the about early September, I really didn't do much to my lawn. So like I said, I was extremely disappointed after throwing down that stress blend. My lawn just really went to shit and I, I just was really unhappy with everything. And I honestly didn't do much between, I would say, a uh, week after July 1st to pretty much September to the fall overseed time. I did keep the lawn watered. I did do my regular watering schedule that I normally do throughout that time from July to the fall overseed time. Uh, but again, I was just really unhappy with everything. So what I wound up doing was is I wound up dethatching my lawn in uh, early August, which I probably wouldn't recommend, uh, you know, if you do have a pretty healthy lawn, dethatching a lawn, thin and, thin and out, especially in the heat of August, it gets really hot here in uh, Jersey. But for me, my lawn was already pretty much shit. So at that point, I was just preparing myself for Labor Day weekend. That was what I was planning on doing for my fall overseed was throwing down my seed on Labor Day weekend. So I was just preparing myself to get to that point so I could throw down seed again. So if you're new to my channel and you haven't watched any videos, what I did this year was I changed up the way I threw down my grass seed. What I wound up going with is a local brand, a local company. It's a turf farm right here in New Jersey. They're called Tuckahoe Turf Farms. They use seed there from Mountain View Seed. Mountain View Seed is actually located in Oregon, but they use seed uh, from Mountain View Seed. And I actually got a really great opportunity to go visit them. I'll leave a video to that tour that I did in the video description below. Go check out that video. There is a giveaway in that video as well. So what I did was is I wound up taking the drive to Hamilton, New Jersey, where Tuckahoe Turf Farms is located. It's about a 30 minute drive from where I live. I actually worked in Hamilton for a little while. So I, and at the whole time I worked out, I didn't even know that Tuckahoe Turf Farms was there. But anyway, I got my seed from there. It was a blue tag certified seed, really high quality seed. And then what I did was, is I went and I threw down my overseed on Labor Day weekend right here in New Jersey. So like I said, I got my seed from Tuckahoe Turf Farms, the Mountain View Seed Blend. We threw that down over Labor Day weekend. Our soil temperatures at the time were just falling into about that 70 degree mark, as you can see on my Excel file here and our highs at the time were about 79 and our lows were about 61. So at the time of seeding I threw down a starter fertilizer blend again from Yard Mastery. It was their 12-12-12. It's an even balance of the MPK of 12-12-12 across the board. So we're putting down about 0.3 pounds of N at the time as well and we did see really great initial results from the germination from the Mountain View seed I would say from day four and if you haven't seen that video yet I'll leave that link uh, below I saw really great germination right at day four it was awesome everything was pretty much popping out of the ground across the board I did top dress everything with peat moss. I did get a Lansy peat moss spreader this year. Um, so I did top dress just about the whole yard with peat moss just to try and keep that soil moist. I definitely think that helped uh, keeping that soil moist. And uh, like I said, day four, we saw great germination results. And then right from there, day four, about to day 10, everything just popped and just went right out of the ground. It was awesome to see. And again, with that Mountain View seed, it, just something about it. It just, it, it really came out almost like a dark green from the start. I noticed with some really, you know, some cheap uh, store-bought uh, fertilizers, not fertilizers, but grass seed in the past, and it almost comes out with like a lime green color. And even the GCI uh, tall fescue that I used last year, it kind of came out with like a, a, a lighter green color, but the Mountain View seed, it just came out dark from the beginning. So 15 days after my fall overseed, we threw down starter fertilizer again. Again, we did the recommended rate of three pounds per 1,000. 
So that gave us another 0.36 pounds of N on the ground. And actually our soil temperatures were actually up at the time. They were about 75 degrees. Um, surprisingly and our highs were in the 80s and our, our high was in about 81 and our lows were about 64 at the time and again the fall the seed was just keep continuing to germinate things were looking great um, so everything was looking really great going into that fall that second application of starter fertilizer into the fall overseed so after throwing down that second application of starter fertilizer, what I wind up doing was at the end of September was throwing down another dose of flagship. What I really wanted to wind up doing was doing a spoon feeding uh, program in my yard, but after seeing how much of a slow release uh, flagship is, and it does have some quick release in it, but it's mostly a slow release fertilizer, I wind up throwing that spoon feeding idea out the door. Um, I did throw down a half a pound of flagship in the yard at the end of September, like you guys can see here. The soil temperature at the time was actually 67 degrees, and our high at the time was actually 70 degrees. So I did throw down that flagship. Um, I did, again, we were still driving everything in the ground, roots were establishing in the yard. Every Everything was looking really great, but I wind up throwing that spoon feeding idea out the door and then I went to do, go do something uh, more local or get something more local in my area for my final fall application of the year. So what I did this year was I did a lot of research at the end of the year. I really want to go into next year trying to use some local companies so i was able to find two local companies right here in new jersey the one company is pretty close to me they're located in mulca hill new jersey their name is organic turf trade it's a really cool little store right uh right in mulca hill it's very local to me in south jersey so i wound up going to the store meeting uh, one of the guys there that worked there so he recommended actually their 1623 fertilizer that they throw down it's actually their organic precise line uh, so I wind up picking up that fertilizer. It is a quick and slow release fertilizer. They're, they have a lot of great organic matter in there as well that you can get down. So I wind up throwing that down. It was mid-October when I got that down. The soil temperature at the time was 70 degrees and actually our high uh, for that time was actually in the 80s. It was uh, pretty warm here in October. Uh, so I wind up getting that down and I haven't put anything down since. Uh, just because I, I just wanted to let this fertilizer work in the ground. I wanted it to really just establish. I wanted it to work its way because it is a soda release fertilizer. I really wanted it to work throughout the remainder of the season. So I'm filming this about a week before Thanksgiving and I'm extremely happy with my fall overseed results. That Mountain View seed, it really did come in really nice. It, like I said, it came in with that dark green color. I did throw down some liquid iron products throughout October just to get it a little bit darker green, especially for Halloween domination. And it looks really great today. I'll walk you around in a second just to show you guys uh, what it looks like. And obviously one of the things you guys could see from my Excel file, I spent a lot of money this year just on granular fertilizer. I definitely want to get down that cost next year. Um, and this doesn't even include what I showed you here, the granular. It doesn't even show you, uh, include any of the liquids that I used this year. I did use spoon juice this year. I used Hydrotain. I used Air 8. I used RGS at the time of seeding. I even used some Humic 12 at the time. Um, so those aren't even added into the cost. And honestly, I don't even want to show you how much that all costs as well. So my goal next year is to get that cost as a whole down a lot. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my results next year because I will be using two local New Jersey companies because I really honestly want to support companies in my home state again like I've been encouraging a lot of people out there you can find a lot of local good local fertilizer companies right in your home state that's what I did I honestly just googled uh, different fertilizer companies throughout my area and I stumbled upon organic turf trade which I used at the end of the year and I stumbled upon another company called plant specialty so shout out to those two companies that I'll be using next year plant specialty they're located a little bit more north of me in central ish north jersey ish and then again organic turf trade located right close to me in Malka Hill New Jersey those will be the two companies I'll be using next year I'll be using plant specialty at my own house and organic turf trade at the project lawn or my sister's house uh, was what I call it. So shout out to those two companies. I'm really super excited to save a lot of money next year and shop local with two New Jersey companies. So here we are outside my house. As you can see, this strip right here, a 
along my driveway. It looks super great. It's super thick. It really came in nice. It's dark green. I'm really loving this section right here. And then walking over to the, my main front of my house right here, as you can see, everything looks really great as well. It's super thick. It's green. It looks really great. As you can see, this tree right here behind me is starting to finally lose almost all of its leaves. I've been trying to keep the leaves off the grass as much as I can. So what I'll do next is, is I'm going to walk over to the side of my yard and show you guys that progress over there. As you can see, everything on the side of the house looks really great as well. This was a real big mess going into the fall overseed. I was moving a ton of sprinklers. Again, I am done moving sprinklers at this point in my yard. They're where they're going to be. So it, this was a complete mess, but as you can see, it looks really great. It looks green. It filled in nicely, so I'm ex very happy with the way this side of my house really turned out right here. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I just wanted to show you my lawn care journey for 2021. As you could see, there was highs and there were lows. You know, a lot of channels out there, they may only show you the highs or how great their lawn looks. And honestly, I just want to be transparent to everyone that watches my channel. As you can see, there were definitely highs and lows this year. I My lawn, it looked like shit going into the summer months, and I couldn't wait for that fall overseed time to come to throw down more seed. And I pretty much had to start over again this year and my goal for next year is to keep this lawn right here behind me looking great so going into the fall overseed time of 2022 i don't have to start over again so that's my goal for next year is just to really keep this lawn looking really great and another thing that I will be changing up for next year, and I've talked about this in uh, previous videos as well, is I want to make this more of a vlog style channel. I don't want to come off as a professional and like I know everything. I, honestly, I'm not. I'm just a DIYer at heart. So again, I want to make this more of a vlog style channel. I just want to document my journey along this hobby that I really enjoy doing. So again, that's what we'll be doing going into next year. And one more thing before we wrap up today's video, if you're interested in any DIY projects or any crafty projects like making candles at home or making wood signs, I also have a DIY channel. I will be posting content on there throughout the winter time. I originally had that content on my lawn care channel, but I wanted to split things up. So if you're interested in that kind of content, I'll leave that uh, video or that channel in the video description below so you can go check that out. Make sure you subscribe to that page for as well so you don't miss out on content throughout the winter time before we go into the spring lawn care journey again for 2022. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. It helps people find the videos on my channel. And if you have any questions or concerns on today's video, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And like always guys, I'll see you in the next one.